Hi everyone, so welcome to this scary vampire Halloween tutorial. I really hope you all enjoy and try this out for yourself if you like it. Um, don't forget to comment and subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. So yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay, so to start this vampire look, I want to get some really, really pale, dead-like skin. So, instead of just using my normal foundation, I'm going to mix it with some white face cream. Now, I actually just bought this from Tesco, but you can kind of use any white face paint or cream, just anything that's going to be pale. So you could just use a really pale foundation if you like. Um, but I'm going to mix this with a little bit of just my usual Studio Fix fluid, which you can see is kind of dark. Um, so I'm going to just mix a little bit of these on the back of my hand and then you just blend it in with my usual foundation brush, the um, Expert Face Brush. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've already tried to cover my blemishes here because they're really bad just with some concealer so just cover anything that you really want to cover first and then do this so I've not used this white face cream before so this should be interesting um, oh it's very thick very thick don't know whether you can see that really thick but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to dot this I'm going to blend this in with my expert face brush Okay, so I'm looking very white and dead right now. A little tip if you're going to use that. It sets really quickly. So as I was trying to blend it all in, you probably saw that I kind of dotted it all over my face. As I was blending it in, it was already dry, so it was quite hard and it looked kind of not the best. But no one's going to be judging you on your skin. As long as you're pale, that's good. I haven't brought it right down my neck, but I probably would bring it quite far down my neck if I was really going out on Halloween. So now we've got this, um, I'm going to just set it with a little bit of powder. I'm going to just use my usual big fluffy brush um, from Real Techniques. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics palette Ooh. and use the white translucent powder in here. Now usually I don't use this because it's not very translucent, but for this it's great because it does have quite a white cast. So I'm just going to powder my skin. Now I'm going on to contouring. Now instead of using my usual bronzer contour shade, for contouring, I'm going to use a grey and a black eyeshadow from this Rihanna palette from MAC. Um, this is the Smoked Cocoa palette, and I got this quite a while ago, I don't think you can get it anymore, but just use any grey and black eyeshadow. Um, these are great because they're not too pigmented, so they're just going to give me a really natural looking shadow. And I'm going to just use this little contour brush from Real Techniques, and I'm going to start to contour my face. So just using the grey, the matte grey, I wouldn't use shimmer. And I'm just going to start to kind of draw those cheekbones in with this grey colour and go up to the side of my face so it's really hollowing that out. And then I'm going to go into the black and I'm just going to do the same thing but I'm kind of focusing this further back and this is just going to get, add even more depth. I'm going to just buff that out with a little stippling brush, just so it mixes with that grey. Um, I'm now going to go into the eyebrows. So, for this I'm going to use a very, very, very dark colour. Now you could use a black if you wanted to, I'm just going to go with this colour from the Smoked palette from Urban Decay and I'm going to use Backdoor, which is this kind of very dark colour. And I'm just going to use my usual 208 angled brush from MAC and I'm just going to go in and kind of do my eyebrows and I'm going to kind of exaggerate this kind of arch and bring them out a little bit further than I usually would. So just drawing my eyebrows on, making them a little bit more dramatic and darker than I usually would. These eyebrows are supposed to be very dramatic. This is not a natural pretty look. Okay, so now I've got those very intense eyebrows on. They're very black, they're very dark, almost black, um, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted them to be very kind of exaggerated and cartoon-like almost. I'm going to use a little bit of Ermin Decay Primer Potion now on my eyelids just so the eyeshadow stays and really sticks. I'm going to carry on with my Urban Decay Smoked Palette. 
and I'm going to use this purple colour here which is called Rockstar. Just looks like that. It's quite shimmery. Um, yeah, I'm going to just pack this all over the lid. Don't worry if you get any fallout because we are going to be doing quite a lot of darkness underneath the eyes. So I'm just going to blend that with a clean blending brush just around the edges. I'm then going to go in with a little angled brush. This is just from Real Techniques again. And I'm going to use this asphalt colour here, which is kind of like a deep grey colour. And I'm going to kind of wing this out slightly. So this is going to add some depth and some more shape to the eye. I'm kind of going to back it with that blending brush. Now as a transition colour I'm going to just go back to my BH Cosmetics palette and use this big kind of bronzer shade just because I don't have a matte brown in that palette and that's the palette I'm using and I'm going to use it on a soft blending brush and just kind of pop it at the top of where we've done that shadow just as a transition between the highlight and the other dark colours and this is just going to blend it out and make it even more intense as well. Now I'm going to use MAC Soft and Gentle, which is a very shimmery, um, mineralised baked powder. And I'm going to use this on the brow bone and the inner corner, just to add some light there. And now going back to this smoked palette, and I'm going to use some asphalt underneath the eyes and really smoke this out. I'm not putting any eyeliner on the waterline because I still want the eyes to be quite bright. Because I think my eyes are looking quite scary at the moment with this makeup and the pale skin. Which is good. I'm going to use step one of my volumizer from Bourjois. And then I'm going to stick on some very... Well, actually I don't think they're that intense, but I'm going to stick on some lashes just because I want those eyes to be ultra dramatic. I'm only applying one coat of step one because I find it easy to apply lashes when I haven't really got much on um, and I'm definitely not curling them because that'll just make it harder to put the lashes on. I'm now going to just put some volumizer mascara on. I'm going to use step two and kind of fill them out a bit and pray that this will make them look a lot better. Now I've done that I'm going to add some kind of depth around my eyes and just make myself look a bit more dead. So I'm going to go back in with this Rihanna palette here and use this grey and probably a little bit of the black as well on this little kind of fluffy number seven brush. And I'm just going to follow the natural place where I kind of get dark and tired and just kind of sketch out that area. And if you look down, you'll be able to find it a little bit easier. Okay, so now that I look even more dead, I'm going to use a lip liner, a red one, and kind of draw those little zigzags where the vampires kind of change <laughs> and try and get a bit of a scary look with that. So I'm just going to kind of draw that on lightly. Okay, so now we are onto lips now. I'm going to just use exactly the same lip liner and go around the outside of my lips. And then I'm going to use this MUA lipstick, which is in number one. And it's just this kind of vampy red. And I'm going to put this on and kind of try and create a bit of an ombre effect, kind of. going to use a lip brush for this darker red. I've then got some fake blood and I'm going to just kind of use the same lip brush and get a little bit of this and kind of drip it down the sides of my mouth. I 
let it just drip down a bit. Help it along its way. You could definitely do like a little bite on your neck or something like that. Um, I haven't actually got any. There was in Tesco some kind of scars and stuff that you could buy, but I don't have any liquid latex, so I couldn't really do that. Um, make sure you are joining it up to the lips because I'm kind of blending it around the lips because you've just eaten, so it's not going to be very neat, is it? Okay, so this is my final vampire scary Halloween look. I really hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you all try it out for yourself and have a great Halloween. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!